So I don't know much about this game's like story past what we've seen in the trailer. I'm gonna go with my normal look, uh, which is a lumberjack. Yep. Oh, it's a. Uh, here we go. Facial hair. I'm a lumberjack and I'm all right. Something's in the ceiling, man. Oh shit. Definitely a rougher start than the other one. We just landed in the in the uh, in Wildlands. Definitely a rougher starting than uh, than the other game. Just give me one second. Okay. G to heal. He's not actually. <laughs> he's not actually wrapping anything around himself, but you know. Is this... Am I supposed to be doing this? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's fully healed now. That took a while, but I guess it, it should. Instantly, like, this game feels much better than... Uh, than Wildlands. Like, it looks interface. Oh, there we go. Oh, so you can, like, hide it. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm gonna leave it on for now though, but yeah, this this UI looks much better. Is there like a Is there a way of going slower than than this? Taking care of business, right? What's in here? Is that ammo? Oi! Is that silence though? How do I equip this? L. Okay. So I guess if you're playing this with people, they'll crash with you? Because that was the whole point of like the Ghost Recon games was you were with a team. No way to go. He runs uh, <laughs> like he shit himself, <laughs> but you know that's fine. What's in there? He's just like automatically grabbing up stuff, which is kind of easier for me. <laughs> Rather than looking out for it. There's people in here. Let's take them out. Let's take them out. Why do we 
gotta do the cleanup detail. I mean, even if someone survived that shit, which there's no way they did, I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna last. Let's just stare at Miami. Little guy back home got caught in the combine, lost half his damn body. Damn, we got a survivor. So much for the takeout. Hello. What have we got? What have we got? Ooh, body armor. Heavy tank vest. Nice. <laughs> Dead. Alright, let's move on. Move on, move on. Go, go, go! What I love about this game, these ga these type of games, anyway, makes you feel like a whew, like a pro. Easy, you're making it easy for me, guys. Come on. Oh, scorpion! Let's equip that bad boy. Yeah, so instantly. This feels much better than, um, d like, than the other one, because it was a bit confusing in um, Wildlands, from what I remember. But this is awesome. Storm Cloud 1 1, this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Who got? Contact! Contact! Oh, oh. Jesus. Check fire! Walker. Shall we, Weaver? What's that? Is that the guy from The Walking Dead? Whoa, okay. So should I not be here then? See ya. <laughs> thanks, thanks for letting me know, game. That was very close. Each class has a specific passive and class technique. Obtaining new skills unlock your first class. Okay. So what we got? We got Field Medic. True Grit, which I'm guessing is the, uh, like, high health, yeah, Kills Hill, um, Panther, Cloak and Run, Disappear Behind Smoke Screens, Bonus to Stealth, Do Not Reduce Damage, I'm probably going to go with that, because it's a Tom Clancy game, you have to go stealth, <laughs> and uh, Sharpshooter, I'm going to go Panther, and this unlocks these, which I can't get yet, alright, um, <clears throat> let's continue then. Small guys over there. There are two of them. Ooh, -hoo, clean. There is a lot of people here. See ya. ranked up. Let's get, because it's daytime now, let's get the XP bonus. Um, let's have a look at the map real quick, because the other one was massive. Look at this. Jesus. Okay. I mean, we've been walking for a while, and that's literally the tiniest bit we've done. Let's get some more meds.
Don't think there's anyone here, mate. Mayday. Mayday. This is Ghost Lead. Does anyone read? Five by five, Ghost Lead. Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost Lead, you can chase the white rabbit. <laughs> or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. That can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Go sleep out. It's a whole group. I'm killing him. Christ. Uh oh. Yikes. Way over his head. Jeez. There we go. Easy. I wasn't worried at all. Okay, what's the driving like in this one? As I remember, it was like driving on ice in uh, Wildlands, and this isn't it isn't too much better. Uh oh. Okay, I think I might die here. How do I get out? Screw it. Screw it. Ram him over. Uh oh. It's e -tech exit. It's too late now. No, it's not. Yikes, that was awful. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, yikes. Okay, let's go check this out. What am I doing? I'm scratching my ass. <laughs> Hello, anyone in the home? Stop right there. <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. We can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? A cave, so we call it. Get in. Whatever you say, you, you freaks. Are you boys all right or what? The only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. Our mind's blown. Yep. They're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago overall went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. 
Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? We're just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Okay. A uh, lot of names just popped up. <laughs> oh, are these, are these actual people? Oh, okay. Sweet. So these are people who are playing right now. And they just, this is like a lobby. This is like Destiny, I guess. Like the, like the farm on Destiny. <clears throat> Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. But Weaver. Hey, you just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? Yeah, the Wasp. Yeah. With the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. <sighs> that the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. 
Well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. That's, that's not where I wanted to sit, exactly, but, no, I, I respect the, uh, I respect the effort. So if I'm in a helicopter, surely they're gonna cut me down again, like they did before, question mark, possibly. Dad? D don't hurt us, please. <laughs> that's it, get down, you freak. Not gonna hurt anyone. <laughs> Mad sent me. Just aim a gun at them, then walk up to them calmly. I, I work uh, for Skeltech. Not gonna hurt Mads anyone. Is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to the island from a navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. This is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No, uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, uh, not, not, not badly. Uh, we left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Taking the boat is not an option. I'm, a, I'm sorry, old man. Shit. More bad guys. Everyone take cover! I was in the drone for too long. Security programmer. Holy flying cow. It's with this my blur, is, man. My guess is nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen, you have to get these people and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. 
Okay, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing building you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. I will. Although I'm very blurry at the moment. I think I had a bit, a bit too much to drink right there. Ah, okay. So this is how far I get into the story. And then the rest of it is looting, I guess. Just having fun. Let's go do that. Oh my god, what the hell was that? What was over there? Well, that might need fixing. I'll still go to the party. 